We're breaking down the technique behind Livingston's grave digger to the tiniest detail. You may want to stick around, especially if you're just starting out to write song lyrics, and if you're a seasoned lyrics writer, you will still find something useful in the video. By the way, did you know that the protagonist of the song claims that they're more than just a boy and I? And Vadush and I'm the greatest expert in song lyrics in the entire world, and maybe even on YouTube. Whee! Starting with end rhymes as always. Enemies, side of me, in my dreams, dreams. All right, and this one breaks the pattern. Try to breathe underneath. Can't see what I've become. See what I've become. So there's a strict pattern here. This one inherits hip hop heavily, and it establishes a pattern of rhyming ends of lines, but breaking it in the very end, repeating the key idea of the previous line. Same here. Rhyming, rhyming, rhyming. Breaking the rhyming. Repeating the key idea. I'm not sure if the what I've become is ever meant to rhyme with something. Boy, alive, sky, life. It's like alive, sky and life rhyme and a boy doesn't. I guess this one was squeezed in here because it was important for the author, but it makes no sense in the context. So remove that or rephrase it to be rhyming or change something if it's important. That's the pre-course and that's the tagline that segues into the course. Grave digger, grave digger, go figure. Figure, as he says. Then these lines call my name, not the same, which again nicely break the overall established pattern but makes no sense. I guess just repeating the Gravedigger tagline would be a bit boring, so they add a couple of lines there. I don't think these lines are valuable, so I would change that for a punchline or something. Somehow related to grave digging or the overall psychological theme going on here. Next one. Put me down, run around, what you've done, what you've done. Okay, kind of rhyming there. I am found underground, back to life. Hand it out. Alright, this kinda goes away from the theme of breaking patterns, it just messes it all up. I would make it a bit more consistent, I don't really like when everything's inconsistent, cause it's very hard to make something stand out when everything is inconsistent. The whole point of breaking patterns is to juxtapose the break to the pattern, but to do that you need to establish the pattern, and the more even and square the pattern is, the harder the break is gonna hit. If it's like short, 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 and then boom, it's long. Or if it's even, 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 and then boom, it's all odd and sketchy. It's like when your room is messy, you can't find a thing in there, but it makes a whole lot easier finding things in your room when it's clean and tidy. Same thing here, when everything is clean and tidy, it's easier to make something stand out. Then again, the pre-chorus, the chorus, and then there's the bridge, I guess. Cold blooded young, death, sky, hit, shame, next, ashes, set. Not too good at rhyming. They could have done a way, way better job at rhyming. This one's lazy, lazy, lazy. It's like they had all of these ideas and they wanted to jam them all in and they didn't take time to edit the lyrics. There's a lot of editing to be done here. All of these catchy rhymes, all of the unevenness of the whole thing. That's not too much of a difficult task. You just let it sit for a while, cool down emotionally towards the lyrics and then cold-headedly find improvement opportunities and make the changes. Easy as that. But this one's lazy, and I tend to treat lyrics like this as disrespectful towards the listener. I don't like being treated like that, and their lyrics may not be the most important thing ever, but such lazy writing always kicks me in some wrong places. However, let's see if there's any internal rhyming or other interesting phonetics going on. Right, side, some internal rhyming there, and then enemies and my dreams, almost a panorama there, like the entire line rhymes with the entire line. Six feet underneath, then here, trying, alive, about sorta of rhymes, my life. So there's a lot of internal rhyming going on. I don't see any alliterations, maybe somewhere in the chorus. Guru up to be the grave digger. Alright, that's an alliteration there and I think it looks like that the choice of word here is deliberate. Don't you know? Uh, I don't know. Look, look, put, done, dust, underground. A lot of D going on there. Born, 
bringing back. Okay, down the bridge. Blooded, young, touched, stuck, but, guess, next, sit. So there's some rhyming going on inside of that. Summing it up, phonetically, this could be much, much better. This is a lot of lazy writing. It tries to be hippity happity, but it's not. Normally in hip hop, the quality of rhymes is much better. The structure of lines, the use of triplets, the use of syllables is way more mature in hip hop. This one here imitates that, and it does a good job of that actually. If you don't dig in technically, if you don't decipher the techniques behind that, it kind of looks well right. And their articulations during the actual performance make it even better, because you can adjust syllables to make them rhyme. But on the technique level, this could be improved. Let's see if there's any metaphors or other stylistic devices like epithets or juxtapositions or any other ones. Right left side of me is a metonymy, I guess. Wake me up dreams is an oxymoron because a dream is when you sleep and wake me up dream is a combination of impossible things, but it's an actual thing, a dream you wake up from. This may be a metaphor, a really strong one, a very good image. Six feet underneath. This is a very commonly used metaphor, not even a metaphor probably anymore, more of a paraphrase. You can't see what I've become because I'm underneath. Nice. That's not a stylistic tool though, that's logic. More than just a boy trying to stay alive? Uh, I don't know. Not sure what this is. Reaching for the sky, meaning trying to do their best, I guess. And there we arrive at the strongest metaphor in the song, the tagline of it. I grew up to be the grave digger. My own grave digger. This seems to signify some important psychological trauma or difficulties the person is going through. Very neatly arranged in an image of a grave digger digging the grave for the themselves because of depression I guess and that's some very very important stuff so good the person could use their own feelings to convert them to songs this is very very neatly packed very condensed imagery then this one makes no sense born from the dust in the underground bringing back to life so there's a rebirth going on okay I guess this is a metaphor of change after like a steep decline the person is going back up to life and people around probably didn't help could have touched the sky going back to the reaching for the sky this could have used the paraphrase to be more poetic because it's literally reusing the same image i don't think such recycling here is justified this again looks very much lazy stuck in his head very commonly used metaphor rise from ashes very commonplace right nothing else there so metaphorically this entire thing is a very very good image Image. works nice a lot of metaphors it's not using a lot of epithets but the central image the tagline image is very very strong let's go a level up and see if there's any storytelling and dynamics going on in the lyrics the intro lets us understand that, that somebody is facing enemies and they are six feet underneath basically dead addressing some people probably those enemies and those enemies probably being the cause of the death and the funeral then we get a sneak peek at some past, I guess, trying to stay alive, reaching for the sky before being six feet underneath because this doesn't match chronologically as is. So we get an introduction, we see the situation, then a flashback, then this one opens up the story a little bit better, explaining us that the person who is six feet underground dug their own grave. Then this one makes no sense. This is very much the same as the previous ones, but this one adds some more information, bringing the story forward. There's a rebirth there. The person has problems, dies, gets reborn, probably fixing the problems. Then it's repeated, and then the entire idea is recycled in the bridge. The only thing that's added is the cold-blooded young, born from death. The only new information we get here storytelling-wise is that this made the person cold-blooded, depriving them of emotion, of empathy or whatever, making them essentially alive, but 
sort of worse than they had been. But there's like way too much text to arrive at this message. This is the only line that drives the message. They could have saved us like 20 seconds of the song. Let's now find some free things we could borrow from Livingston and use in our own songwriting. Number one is having those hippity hoppity rhymes all over the place, being all choppy but still rhyming every time. Having the same rhyme across the entire verse. And me's side of me, dreams, dreams, underneath, breathe, see, nice. It works as a backbone for the entire verse. Totally stating that. Number two is probably adding an odd line here and there to freshen things up. So this pattern is very clear, the idea is very clear, the tagline is great. But if you repeat it too often, it gets boring. So they insert a couple of lines there to make it a bit more entertaining. And number three is the structure of the lyrics. Take a look at that. There's a verse and there's another verse. There's a pre-chorus and there's another pre-chorus. There's a tagline going into the chorus, like the post pre-chorus or whatever this thing is, and then the chorus. So a lot of elements are used and they're all working in cohesion. They add value. Absolutely the flow gets better with these. And there's even a bridge in that. So a lot of elements, a lot of song structure we can learn from this. And of course an honorable mention is this repetition of go figure, go figure, and there's a lot of G in this thing. Go figure, grew up, grave digger. Very nicely done phonetically. All right now, three things that would improve in those lyrics. And number one is a sloppy syllabic structure. Whatever happened here, it's like all over the place. I would make it more consistent. I would count the syllables. I would see where the stresses are. I would make it more consistent. And then I could juxtapose something against that. So establish a very, very straightforward pattern and then break it if I need to manipulate the listener's attention. Number two is I would have written this. What, what's that? I, this makes no sense at all. It adds no value but for freshening things up. I would think of a punchline associated with grave diggers, with enemies, with anything psychological trauma because this adds zero value. Like literally nothing is added here just for the sake of it. It's just there to be there. And probably last but not least, I would work on the quality of rhyming because it's not rhyming everywhere. Somewhere it's okay, somewhere it's like, where's the rhyme? So the quality is sloppy, it's not consistent. You can see some of the passages going well, some of the passages going lazy, and overall these are the tiny things in your technique that give out an inexperienced writer. Or a lazy one, I don't know. Thank you very much for watching the video till the very end. It lets YouTube know the video is interesting, especially if you subscribe during watching YouTube understands that it's worth promoting the video across the platform and most importantly makes me happy. And while you're subscribing, please Please like the video, especially if you have a heart. I hope you managed to learn something new from this breakdown, because you're awesome. Yes, you are.